It's time for a story from our book, Tales of Friendship with Winnie the Pooh. Each story happens here in the Hundred Acre Wood. Hello. Are you ready to meet Pooh and all his friends? Today, I'm going to read you Hide and Poo Seek. It's just like hide and go seek. When you're it, you cover your eyes and count to 100 while everyone hides. And then you have to find them. In this story, Pooh is having trouble finding everyone until, well, let's read the story. Ready? It was a lovely spring day in the Hundred Acre Wood. A nice day like this calls for a game, declared Christopher Robin. Let's play hide and go seek. He looked at Pooh and tugged gently on his ear. You're it, Pooh Bear. Pooh rubbed his ear. What is it that I am exactly? Now Pooh was a bear of very little brain, but he soon remembered how to play. One, he began confidently. What came after one? He sat down to think. Think, think, think. Six? Uh, 27 and a half? 114, he announced. Oh, that didn't sound quite right. Never mind, he said to himself. I'm sure I got most of them. 100, he called out. Ready or not, here I come. Who set out to find his friends? I know the perfect hiding place, he said. The honey tree. Aha, found you, he cried. He looked around in surprise. The honey tree was there. The bees were there and the honey, but no sign of his friends. They weren't hiding in Rabbit's garden either, or in the meadow where Pooh liked to lie and watch the clouds, or in his comfy bed, or even at his thoughtful spot. Oh, bother, said Pooh. Why weren't his friends hiding in any of his favourite spots? Just then, Kanga came by. Do you know where Roo is, Pooh? Well, I know where he's not, said Pooh. He's not hiding in any of my favourite spots. Kanga smiled. Roo has lots of his own favourite spots. Pooh realised Kanga was right. He checked his favourite places, but if he wanted to find his friends, he had to check their favourite places. He thought about his friend Piglet. Piglet is a very small animal, he said. He would hide in a very small spot. He thought of the smallest spot he knew. Pooh went straight to the hollow log near Piglet's house. And there was Piglet. I'm glad you found me, Pooh, Piglet admitted. It's awfully dark in here. Together, Pooh and Piglet found Roo hiding and playing in the sandy pit. Tigger was hiding in his favourite bouncing spot. Finally, only Christopher Robin was missing. Oh dear, Piglet said. What if we never find him? We probably won't, said Eeyore. Then Pooh remembered. He likes to climb trees. They all looked up. There he is, cried Roo. How did you find us all so quickly? said Christopher Robin. It was easy once I looked in your favourite spots instead of mine, said Pooh. Let's play again, Christopher Robin cried. This time, Piglet's it. Where are you going to hide, Pooh? Christopher Robin asked. My favourite place, the honey tree, Pooh said. Piglet will know that's where to find me. Christopher Robin laughed. Silly old bear. Isn't that lovely? Pooh actually wants to be found. Ooh, hear that? Nearly bedtime in the Hundred Acre Wood. Now the day is nearly through, it's time for sleepy heads. But there's something we should do before we go to bed. First we get our PJ 
jays on the ones that feel just right Then we're going to brush our teeth all sparkly and white Pick our favorite storybook and tuck our toys in tight Don't forget that hug and kiss Then turn up the light Snug as a bear can be Dreaming in a honey tree Snug as a bear Yeah, yeah Snug as a bear can be Oh, bother Think, think, think Let's go through our bedtime list Got our PJs on? Yes We've brushed our teeth? Yes Read our storybook? Yes Our toys tucked in? Yes Hmm then what did we miss? Oh, yes, that hug and kiss. Snug as a bear can be, dreaming in a honey tree. Snug as a bear, yeah, yeah. Snug as a bear can be. 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 Snug as a bear